Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for April, the week of April 29th. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you. Uh, you have the Three of Diamonds. I'm pretty sure Pisces also had the Three of Diamonds. So I would definitely be careful of your paperwork. Three of Diamonds just represents problems with paperwork. Uh, it's usually not a bad problem, but uh, definitely annoying. I always say like three of diamonds can be a problem with a contract and then where you fill it out then there's a problem then you have to do it all over again or you know maybe you send important paperwork in then like it takes like longer for you know maybe you're like waiting for something important but it takes longer because the paperwork was wrong so double check all important paperwork four of hearts could also with the three of diamonds there could just represent um, problems with love I wanted to clarify that to see what it was um, it could represent a lack of communication of love or it could represent a lack of, um, maybe you're in a relationship and there could be so something that feels like it's missing. This card would just say communicate with your partner. They'll probably fix it right away if you have a problem, uh, a partner. And if you don't have a partner, uh, this could just say that you're missing out on love or you, you feel like you are missing out on love. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Spades going through a transformation. Yeah, going through a transformation of love. I feel like love is opening up to you. So again, if you're single, I feel like for a lot of you, love could be kind of like opening up to you in a lot of ways. If you are not single, by the way, this right here is fortune after difficulty. I'd say for everybody, even if you are single. Uh, this is major uh, positivity. I like it a lot. Ace of Spades is existing problems being resolved. And again, Ten of Hearts, fortune after difficulty. So I feel like there could be just a lot of general improvements for you this week. And you could be feeling very fortunate as well. This is also an amazing card for dating, um, but the Ten of Hearts is called the dog, and it represents somebody who is loyal to you. Uh, not like a dog, as in a dog, like as in somebody who cheats or whatever, uh, but as in somebody who's loyal to you. So if you're looking for a very positive relationship, there could be a very positive relationship coming in there. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Clubs here. Yeah, I feel like they're, you, know, you are very attractive at this time, is what I'm going to say. All water signs, I, I would say, are, are pretty attractive right now. So I've been telling all the water signs, get out there, meet people. If you're wanting to approach someone, now is the time to probably approach somebody that you're interested in. Because again, you could be finding yourself more attractive. This is a card of seduction. So it could say that you're more charming as well, or just more seductive at this time. And you know, again, that could bring someone into your life. Uh, for those of you not interested in love, again, this could represent needing to look at your resume um, if you are trying to find a new job this is a card of making yourself as attractive as possible to a potential job or work uh, this card says that you know there are things that you could do to make sure that you get a job just like you know making sure there aren't any spelling mistakes with that three of diamonds on your resume making sure you include all your talent skills and abilities on your resume in the first place so i would do all of that with this card here uh, next in your challenge position you have the two of clubs and the ace of diamonds so, um, yeah, Ace of Diamonds is a very good card, but it could represent taking a risk uh, financially in the challenge position. So it could say that there could be some sort of financial risk that you're taking. And I, I feel like really, the, if you are taking a financial risk, I feel like the fears here are about, uh, you know, coming up in the challenge position. I feel like it's about seeing results. It's like you're wondering, like, if I take this financial risk, maybe you're investing your money, maybe you're spending money on your investment, you're like, Maybe you're saying to yourself, will I see growth? And the answer is yes, by the way. So if you're, I would say take the risk if you are one of those people. For others, this could be like a, a different type of risk. It could be like to accept a new job or to leave your current job and go do something else. So, but I would say do it because this is my favorite card in the deck. It's coming up in your solution position as well. And again, look, this is a seed right here. This is a plant. So whatever it is that you're thinking about doing is it's going to grow. So I would do it. Two of clubs is also not listening to yourself. A lot of people are doing this right now. So I would definitely say listen to your self, listen to your higher self, and um, that will help you avoid a lot of mistakes. So um, that's what I would say there. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like a few weeks ago, as most of you know, I'm a Pisces. Like a few weeks ago, I didn't listen to myself, made a huge mistake. So, you know, again, I would try to avoid that um, with this uh, two of clubs here. Listen to yourself. Listen to what your intuition is telling you. It will help you avoid problems. Uh, next, again, your solution is the Ace of Clubs and the Seven of Spades. Ace of Clubs is my favorite card in the deck just represents more abundance and more success. 
coming in for you, but it also says like maybe you are, um, you know, maybe in your business you're investing in an advertising campaign, and that could be the ace of diamonds. And this says you will see results, so do it. Or maybe you are thinking about talking to somebody that you are interested in. Ace of diamonds is like you not knowing if it's going to work or not. This says it's going to work, so just do it with the ace of clubs. Uh, for others, what I will also say, seven of spades, internal fears don't exist, so let those things go. But it, coming up in the solution position, this card represents communication, so I feel like communicating with somebody could be very important for you, especially if you are looking for love. If you're not looking for love, this could represent communication at work needing to tell your boss you want to raise a promotion or um, you know needing to communicate better in business with the people around you all this by the way if you have a business or work or business uh, work in like in a business this is a card of networking and building up more people around you for others I feel just kind of like a side message this doesn't even feel like it's attached to this at all at all I feel like for maybe one of you or maybe a few of you uh, some of you could be having a friend come back from the past or you could be um, like hearing from somebody from the past and um, again uh, not like it doesn't feel like love to me it could be but for most of you I feel like it's not I feel like it could be somebody just a friend and um, so again some of you could be healing a friendship or um, you know could be healing a friendship from the past and uh, finally you have the two of hearts you have the blank card so make a wish is what I say there yeah the queen of hearts definitely a feel of water coming in for you uh, you've had water quite a bit in your readings in your daily readings as well um, you've had a water sign showing up so if you're waiting for love I feel like there could be a perfect match with a water sign coming in could be a Pisces uh, Pisces right here um, but it could be any sign really is what I'd say, but there's definitely a change in direction for you in love. So especially if you haven't had love, this could be new love coming in. What I would say to you is your challenge is going to be reaching out. I feel like for some of you, it's like you have to be the one to contact someone or to talk to somebody that you are interested in. So that could be part of the risk. It could be the other way around as well. They could be the one that needs to do that to you. But I'm just saying like that risk is here. So I feel like there needs to be some sort of risk taken. Uh, to see something develop further. But uh, uh, again, for, by the way, before I forget, for those of you not interested in love, this could represent just some sort of change direction in your life. Um, you know, so again, it could be that like your financial situation improves. Obviously, these cards are really good for money, or it could be a positive change with friends as well. But uh, looks like a really good week here, Scorpio. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.